Tukohama. Two, The Devourer, Ka Rui God of War, based heavily on Tumata Uinga, the Maori God of War and Hunting, with one notable difference between them. Tukohama will never be able to fulfill his dreams of playing concert piano. Tukohama is arguably the most respected of all of Path of Exile's gods, until now. Kia ora I'm Gambit, welcome to my first YouTube series ever where we're going to try and grab all of Path of Exile's Steam achievements. Uh, why Steam achievements? I mean, I'm actually a pretty massive Valve fanboy. Love Portal 2. See you in an hour, hopefully. And if you're not dead. Half-Life 2. Team Fortress 2. RuneScape 2. I think it's actually really fitting that the first game we play is essentially Diablo 2 2. Despite being unashamedly a Diablo 2 clone, Path of Exile is an amazing game that has very carefully expanded the ARPG genre. And even after five years, it remains one of those exceedingly rare, super addictive games that you can spend thousands of hours in and still be in love with. I actually booted up the game for the first time earlier this morning, and by the time I got up to make lunch, I'd already been playing for 303 hours. This handsome chapless man in the middle is our character. We're currently playing as the Templar, one of the seven classes in Peiwe. Class system in Peiwe is pretty unrestrictive, so all you really need to know about the Templar is that he's pretty good at spellcasting, pretty good at strength-based melee attacks, and he says something pretentious every time we kill a boss. The night must give way to the day. Uh, I've never told anybody this, but uh, I actually auditioned for the role of Templar. May these waters wash away my sins and baptize me anew. Unfortunately, they needed somebody who would do full frontal, so I didn't get the part. Anyways, it looks like the frat party got a little out of hand last night, and we've ended up being exiled to Rayclast, Land of the Damned. Rayclast is a massive continent surrounded by water where humans rise from the grave after they're killed. We're going to be doing battle with a couple of these damned humans, so we're going to need a weapon. Luckily, there's a gorgeous Driftwood Scepter here, so we're going to bang that on and talk to the only other survivor, Dying Exile. Dying Exile gets killed to death, despite our best attempts at defending him. Not really our fault though, that was the fastest death in video games since Club Penguin. Even faster than accidentally hitting a mammoth in Skyrim. We don't really care though, because we can kill the zombie that killed him and get ourselves some loot. The loot in this case is our first skill gem, Glacial Hammer. And skill gems in Path of Exile grant new abilities to our character and are a massive part of what makes this game so diverse and so replayable. If we pop this skill gem into one of the gem slots on our weapons, you'll notice a new ability appears in our hotbar in the bottom right. Our former best friend, Dying Exile, said that there were fires burning to the east. So we're going to head to the east to try and find some kind of civilization. And along the way we find our first support skill gem. Support skill gems are another layer of complexity in the world of Path of Exile. Now, support skill gems don't give us a new ability when we socket it into our gem slot, but it does enhance any other skill gems that it's linked to. In this case, the Glacial Hammer Familiar. Long walk, a short beach later, and we come across this absolute unit. I am in awe of the size of this lad. This is Helic, the first boss in POA, and he's not some kind of monster or magically enhanced super soldier. He's literally just a big ass dude. Big ass dude who got stabbed in the chest and then came back to life as a zombie. Because that's kind of Rayclast's thing. It would seem my god has no need for my company just yet. Cue about a minute of me dancing on Helix's corpse before picking up all of his loot explosion. Now, if you're paying attention, you probably noticed that we picked up a couple of blue magic items and one of them's a bow, which we don't really care about because bows are for cowards. Like Zelda, and anyone who's ever fought a Whiterun guard. I used to be an adventurer like but we also found 
a heroic pair of slippers. That could be interesting. Now, in Path of Exile, before we can see an item's stats, we need to identify it. Luckily, I have a friend who's an expert on 18th century zombie slippers, and that'll be this broken nunchuck looking thing. Scroll of Wisdom. Now, if we smack the booties with this rolled up piece of paper, uh, it becomes pretty obvious that this gives us a little dexterity and 10% move speed. Pretty great pair of boots, really. Pop those on. Um, Lucky they're Velcro, because I was never taught to tie knots. My parents were always worried I would become too powerful. And if you're paying attention, you'll have seen this flashing addition symbol at the bottom of the screen, and that means we have a skill point to spend. If clicking on this makes your knees weak, don't worry about it. Uh, the Rain Man couldn't fully understand the Path of Exile talent system. But the good news is that you don't really need to. You can just copy what all the math nerds in the POE forums say is best. Uh, I won't do that for our first playthrough because yeah, it should be more authentic and uh, I'm not afraid to openly weep in a video. Welcome to Lion Eye's Watch. Once a powerful fortress held by Marcius Lion Eye and his Gemling Legionnaires, it was plundered after the Karui, led by Combe, tricked Marcius and his army by a feigning retreat so that they'd shed their armor and chase the Karui down the coast. Unfortunately for them, the Kariwi women were laying wait at the top of the cliffs, and they broke cover and ran arrows down on the beach below. After a final stand within the walls at Lion Eye's Watch, Marcius was defeated, and Comb honored his bravery by wearing his head on his belt. As you do. Uh, after picking up a quest and flirting with Lion Eye's resident waifu, You so fucking precious when you smile. Take some time to make fun of people who are richer than me. My man Tarkla here has a reward for us for killing Hillock. Uh, I grabbed the skill gem Molten Strike because it combines my two hobbies. Bashing things and starting fires. Stay sharp out there. Oh wow, there's a whole gang of them. Let me assert my dominance. Something I had failed to notice was that these players were part of a small cult within the game who believed that they alone had the power to control the events of the world of Path of Exile. Damn it. Developers. Well, I managed to play for about 15 minutes before getting banned. Yeah. As a former League of Legends player, that's actually above average for me. Hopefully you enjoyed episode one. This was my first YouTube video ever. So if you have any feedback or any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. And if you like that video, you can click here to subscribe and click here for more videos. And if you absolutely hated that video, then feel free to leave a super dislike by double clicking the thumbs down button. Don't worry, turns out my new friends just took the servers down.